Wednesday, October 2nd, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $127. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin from friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. A man living in Summers, New York, discovered that someone was coming onto his private property and repeatedly stealing his pro-Second Amendment signs. To catch the perpetrator, the gun rights advocate purchased a security camera and placed it near the entrance to his driveway, where he placed the signs and filmed away. Sure enough, the sign was stolen again, but this time the homeowner had the evidence he needed to find out who the sign thief was. It turns out the thief is a law enforcer. The homeowner captured several photos of the law enforcer pulling up to his property, kicking over his sign, and placing it in the back of his squad car. He posted the whole thing online the night it happened. What would you do if local law enforcers were stealing from you? Share your thoughts on the Peace News Now Facebook page. Speaking of armed bureaucrats taking things without permission, Law enforcers in Massachusetts recently stole all three of Matthew Plouffe's firearms. Even though he followed all the laws, the law enforcers claim that Matthew is too immature to own guns. They went to his home and confiscated his two shotguns and rifle. He's suing the city and the police chief to get them back. Thank goodness Matthew is peaceful. Not everyone would let armed bureaucrats walk into their homes and take their guns. In fact, Gun confiscation happened once before in Massachusetts, inspiring the shot heard round the world. Please forward this story to your friends who say, Don't worry, no one's coming for your guns. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Government agents may be able to use force to take your guns or your gold, but they can't use force to get your Bitcoin. They're encrypted. But how to turn cash into bitcoins? Go to cashintobitcoins.com and click Get Bitcoins. It's the only button. You can't miss it. A short form asks you for the important information. Your email address, the bank you want to use, the deposit amount, and the address where you want the bitcoin sent. An exciting new feature of this form is the question, Would you like to donate your fee? If you answer yes, the question, Where would you like to donate your fee? will appear. If you choose to donate, a portion of your fee will either go to Bitcoins Not Bombs or Sean's Outpost. Confirm all the information is correct and agree to the terms, which are only about a paragraph long, and you're set. The site will give you the account name and number that the bank clerk needs and you're ready to make your deposit. Once you get your receipt, snap a photo including the transaction ID, account number, store number, deposit amount, and date, and send that to transactions at cashintocoins.com, and you're done. Your Bitcoin should hit the blockchain within 30 minutes to 4 hours. As Davi Barker points out at bitcoinnotbombs.com, this means that people and organizations who want to donate Bitcoin to Bitcoin-based charities can now do so using Federal Reserve Notes thanks to cashintocoins.com. Try it out and tell us how it works for you at our Facebook page. Speaking of Bitcoin, Free State Project participants are now able to pay rent in Bitcoins. Matthew Ping of Porcupine Management thinks alternative currencies are a perfect fit for the FSP, as both are decentralized and represent independence. Ping collects the majority of rent money from tenants in person, so he uses a smartphone app to receive payments from those who want to pay in Bitcoin. According to the organizers of Porkfest, about a quarter of registration payments and sponsorships came from Bitcoin. Not sure where to spend your Bitcoin? eGifter.com allows you to buy gift cards for Groupon, Barnes & Noble, Home Depot, GameStop, Gap, and much more, all with Bitcoin. And you can ditch the wallet. Just save and spend the gift cards right from your smartphone. The currency of the future is here today. If you're not already using Bitcoin, get started at WeUseCoins.com today. Peace News Now is on the Next News Network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.